Hey Panda here and welcome to Death of a Digital Store, part of our series where we check out games from either digital stores that are closing or may have already closed. Um, at time of recording, the Xbox 360 store hasn't closed, but is closing on July 29th, which isn't too far away as the time of this recording. So I thought we'll check out some different games. I also do Death of a Server as well. That's a little bit different. That's for games that you could still sort of buy, but like maybe they've closed the multiplayer section. Uh, I tried finding an online match this game, as you can imagine. I couldn't find anyone, so we'll play this match against some bots. This game is called War World Tactical Combat. I'm not gonna lie to you, a game about running around as mechs that look like they're from Transformers. War World is not the best name. Now, her voice sounds a little bit funny today. A, we're trying out a new mic, a new HyperX mic, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Getting the filter settings right was a little bit tricky. And I'm also still recovering from a bit of a, a, bit of a cold or an, um, like a dust allergy that's made me quite snuffly. So I do apologize if my voice isn't quite its usual self. Um, but I wanted to get these videos done and I wasn't going to wait till this snuffly cold had definitely gone because I've had it for over a week now. And I was like, you know what? Let's get on with it. Anyway, let's get to it. War World Tactical Combat. We'll just check out a little bit of this. I think one match will sort of give you the idea. Now, this online has sort of got mixed reviews. I played a match earlier and it's like, you know what? This isn't terrible. And the fact that it's going really cheap now on the sale, I think it might be worth picking up. But you'll be able to see from a little bit of gameplay and chat about it now what you think. So you've got miniguns, missiles, different characters. I've usually gone as the little robot that runs about the little mech. And I think I'll stick to that one for now. This guy. But I'll show you some of the other ones right here. We got another one. So you can tell the armor and jump speed and things. Just varies, and they also have specials. You can tell some are long range. Some of these are like more tank characters. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna stick to well, this guy's huge. But I kind of like this little guy. He's cool. And we'll see how quick this match goes. Yeah. The good old days of the white control. Right, here we go. As you can see, it's a third person sort of shooter. No zooming in though. They just shoot from this angle like this. And there's a bit of a jump. Can't transform. I think this would be great if you could transform as well. Oops. Feels well. It does have some awful bloom though the xbox 360 games had a terrible use of the bloom effect when everything sort of looks a little bit more blown out like a glow to it and the, the contrast isn't um i'm not a fan of the contrast now obviously if you had this on your own tv you could readjust it but like all my screens are set so most of my games look all right but this one in particular is like really dark in places and really light in others. But yeah, I'd never heard of this game and it's not terrible. Like if this had been online at the time, I think I could have had some some fun in some multiplayer battles. Keeps it simple with not having to worry about upgrades and stuff. This is just a good old arena sure, like Unreal Tournament style. Obviously, it also comes from that era of like having really bright text on the screen. Like, yep, let's make this right when anyone kills anyone. A bright green. Wow, that was quick. Um, I'm gonna do another match because I wasn't expecting that to be as quick. So if there's a green. Oh. Oh no, it's going to go to the same map, isn't it? Let's hop out and we'll choose a different map. And now next time I'll choose... Um, I'll choose... Move on to the next map. I wasn't expecting to be so quick. Um, death match. Arcade mode is sort of like a single player mode. It wasn't very exciting. It was like, put you on a map and it puts one of the enemy. And you like got to hunt them down. And then, just got to find the one, right? Let's go for the next map. 
city rooftop. Um, I'll move the frags up to 20. And jump to the next map. Right, let's choose someone big this time. Who's that? Yeah. And long range mortars, slow move but super strong. Beam weapons. Yeah, let's go for some beam weapons. Wow. Uh, this guy's a lot slower. This map is also a nightmare to see on. My characters have the same thing I'm thinking about how you use the missiles. Right, this is a how-to page, but I can really explain. Oh, I've got some type of... was that a shield? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got shield. A lot of my buttons, it should be missiles aren't working. I wonder if I can pick up a missile. Worst little ninja. Come on. Yes. And a turn speed on this guy. Find some missile pickups or something. Oh, come on. Yeah, this guy's built like a tank. Get thing here. Nope. Ooh, ankle bio here. Yeah, bad long range, but can't get away from this. Ooh. Oh, bad news. This is, um, this is tricky. Also, this level's got some really dark things. We can have a quick look now, but I'll show you what's available in the options. That's it. That's all available in the options, so. And this is controls. So there should be missiles, but. And then if we go to how to play, it's just like. That's it. There's no information on. How to get missiles. I'm pressing the missile button. Lock onto someone? No. Nope. Yeah, hopefully the right bumper works on this control. Okay, let's choose a middle mech this time. Yeah, it says right bumper missile. I will post something in the comments if it turns out my it's just my controller that's busted for some reason. Right, we're on a middle robot turn. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, back on this level. Oh well, we didn't get to see much of this level last time. And now we've got. Oh, this one's got missiles. 
yeah, right bumper's working. But some of them just don't have a missile. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, mines. You know what? I'm having more fun with this game than I was expecting. It's simple. And you just don't get these type of games online anymore. Everyone wants a battle pass or really complicated customization. Like, I don't mind visual customization, but it's like, oh, you need to unlock 17 different attachments. Like, come on. Sometimes you just want something where you jump in an arena and you're battling it out. Yeah, sure, some mech customization would have helped this game, but I mean, just from visually, I don't think it needs. I don't think all games need this thing. And the AI seem fine. I know people, this is a controversial opinion, as always. I really want more AI in multiplayer games. Just fill in empty slots, because if, say, like, this had AI, but the problem is this doesn't have AI and online. A few games get it right where they fill in empty spaces with AI and that way multiplayer online always stays alive. But other games like, nope, you've got to wait for how many players. And if you play a game that isn't as popular, sometimes you never find an online match. It's just like, oh, nope, that's it. Dead. But at least if it had AI bots, like, you could keep a building going, like, even if it's just, like, a handful of people that always like to play the game. Let's enjoy some mech action. Say War World. Um, if, you've, if this comes out before the store is closed, I'd go pick it up. Or oh, I don't know how much I paid for it. It was really cheap. It was like 60, 70p, 67p, or 80 sunk p. It was less than a pound, which is a bargain. You know, in fact, you go to Starbucks or something and you end up paying like. I don't, I don't even like, don't drink coffee, but I know family members and friends who go to Starbucks. You end up paying like four or five quid for a drink. Pretty ridiculous. You mean, and you're easily going to get your 60 or 80 piece worth of fun out of this. Dude. If you go to an arcade, an arcade machine, it costs like a pound 150 these days, so you don't get very long on them. My goodness, this guy is some. Um, grilling me here. These little ones, so... I don't know if I've played a mech game with... Ah, no, we didn't win. Oh, AI quite good on them. On normal. Right, let's... Oh, I've got to choose someone now, but we can drop back to the main menu. But there you go. So yeah, there's like Team Deathmatch, um, deathmatch, and there was another mode. And like I said, single player. I wouldn't get this just for single player though. Um, but I'll show you now. So we've got single player, deathmatch, team deathmatch, or arcade game. So yeah, a few more modes would be nice. And then multiplayer. There is. Oh, it's capture the flag bomber sword as well. But like I said, there's no AI to fill in empty spaces. You're just going to sit there in an empty map. We can see if we can find a match. It does this though, has a look round. And then it'll suddenly tell you, nope, no one's there. Nope, no game's found. There you go. Also, this tune as well. Oh, sound cool, but I like the designs. I like this game. I think everyone was giving bad reviews. And I was so close not to buying some of these games in the sale, because I was like, oh, I looked up, it's like, these are bad reviews. Do I want to buy it? And then when I looked at the price, it's like, I could just buy it and play it. And just even if it's terrible, at least I could like, I've played it and be like, well, that game's not worth getting. But this, generally, I like it. I'm going to come back and play some more of this at some point. And maybe do like a longer video about it once I've got a little bit more into it and tried the other modes. And yeah, if anyone's ever up for want to do a multiplayer match, hit us up in the comments. Be like, yeah. I'm curious to, I'm wondering if there's any war world tactical combat fans out there. So there you go. That was our episode on war world for death of a digital store. I've been Panda. Thank you very much for joining us. And a big shout out to our Patreons, Kofi donations, 
and Twitch subscribers who help make this channel keep going and do what we do. Keep going and doing what we do. And if you'd like to support us, all the links are in the description below. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. War World Tactical Combat.